how are things going, viewer? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas walkthrough video. Now, Torino has given CJ a harpy jump jet, whatever, in the previous mission, Vertical Bird. Now, Torino shows up again in this mission, but it's a good thing. I mean, he's kind of a jerk, but he does live up to his promises. And this video is Trino living up to his promise. We're getting near the end, folks. Only a few more missions left in GTA San Andreas. So if I've done this right, it should be March right now. I'm looking at April of this year to be done with all the GTA San Andreas missions. This one is called Homecoming. And, well, to be honest with you, as cool as Sweet is, he's kind of a jerk. So let's get on with this mission. I don't care how. I care when. As in now. You hear me? Hey, man, what the... Hello, boss man. Taking care of business, I see. Torino, fuck you. Almost lost my life out there for you. I got just one tiny little thing for you to do, and then I'm out of your life forever. You know what? I'm tired of your fucking little jobs. Ah, will you stop? This is pathetic. Come on, you're embarrassing yourself. Come on, put it down. Don't be ridiculous, okay? Hey, I got a little surprise for you here. You ready for this? Huh? Answer it. Hello? Carl, it's me, Sweet. Oh, Sweet. I don't know what happened. They just released me. No idea what's going on. But I'm in the square outside the precinct in Commerce. All right, you hold tight. I'll be right there. All right. So what was that little job you was talking about, Torino? I just want you to go pick up your brother. Get out of here. Torino had promised CJ that if CJ helped him out, then CJ would be able to see his brother. Torino would pull strings and set Sweet free. And he has done just that. I mean, even though he's kind of a jerk, he's lived up to his promises, and he pays pretty well, and CJ has got some pretty wicked skills now, thanks to Torino. So I'm going to fast forward the drive to the precinct to pick up Sweet, and we will get on with this whole homecoming event. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? I'm all right, man. Hey, man, we off to our new spot. We got a mansion, sweet. We've been putting in work, and shit is going well. We got a stake in the casino. We got some insane shit in Fierro. We get into the rap game. Hey, man, let me get you some new clothes. Come on. New clothes? Nigga, what the fuck is this bullshit? What you mean, man? What's mine is yours, and you know that. You never did get it, did you, Carl? I need to go check on things in the hood. Man, that's the problem. You always a perpetrator, running from what's real. Hey, man, shit's fucked up there. You don't want to be in the hood. No, that's exactly where I want to be. What you done for our hood? Man, what the hood done for me? Always dragging me down. Ever since I got out the hood, shit been cracking. That's everybody dream to get out the hood. Man, you sound just like smoke right now. All right, man. You hard. I'm going to show you what's going on in the hood. You got to understand, shit's all fucked up now, dude. Yeah. What you want, it ain't around here no more. Just take me to mama's house. Well, Sweet is kind of a jerk, and yeah, he wants to go home, and... You know, CJ ain't gonna reason with him. So, yeah, I might as well 
just have him drive home. And this mission is the beginning of the, how shall I say, end for GTA San Andreas. And it's kind of a melodramatic moment. And I'll explain further once we get to drop sweet off here. Y'all want to buy this blender? It's, it's really good. It's, it's, it sort of works. Man, what the fuck? That's Marl's blender. Look like base heads and took over the spot. Let's go home. This is home, man. Get these fuckers out of Mom's house. You was born in there. Damn. Okay, the M4 will work real well. Sweet has the AK. You can easily protect Sweet. And you just take out the Ballas and the drug dealers. And this is just like the take over the hood type mission where you have to start a firefight with other gang members. And then they attack you in waves. And you wind up um, killing them and taking over the neighborhood. And like taking over neighborhoods, uh, you can do it about two or three, I mean, two or three neighborhoods at a time, and you'll cover up and take out all of the neighborhoods eventually. And if you play it right, you just got to keep the other guys at a distance. Now, this is where you're going to kill the dealer and start the gang war. And again, you just got to keep your distance and use a more powerful weapon. Like right now, I'll take down that drug dealer. And as gang members come forward, you shoot some ballas to start a gang war. And then you just kind of keep an eye out. Here they come. They'll take some shots at you. And like any gang war, you just keep them at bay you try not let them gang up and shoot you multiple times from different angles and you just keep an eye on the map and the ones coming in from the what would be the west are more critical and you take them down compared to the ones coming in from the east and again you just shoot them at a distance and you can see the um, armored vest over there. And you also saw the heart icon. And right now, you can run and take, again, keeping distance. Uh, sorry, Sweet, had to knock you out there. And you take these guys down. Sweet just kind of stands there. And you take these you know, flashes some gang signs, and now you've succeeded. All right, man, let's get out of here and go see Kendall. Kendall can come see me right here at her home. But it ain't nothing here no more. Rome wasn't built in a day, nigga. My brother could be a real pain in the ass. The reason I'm not running into CJ's house right now is there is a red uh, circle in front of the door, and that starts another mission. And I want to be able to save this. As you see the red circle over there, and I'm going to grab some of this money. I'm not going to enter that because ultimately you wind up launching a mission and it's the mission that will be following this post. So I'm going to go find a house that CJ can buy and then save in. Now, this neighborhood will not be attacked. When you start expanding outward and, again, taking over neighborhoods, you have to be aggressive. You can somehow 
get armored up and health up again, and you take over a neighborhood that is adjacent to the main Grove Street neighborhood here on the map, and then all these other neighborhoods, again, you just take over two or three at a time, save, take over two or three more over time, and then you end up taking over all the neighborhoods. It's a process, and again, you got to be aggressive with it. Now, I'm going to buy a... Oh, gosh, these people are really nasty. Ran me right into that pole. But anyway, again, you have to be aggressive. Take over take over a neighbor, neighbor, neighborhood, take over another neighborhood, and take over another neighborhood. Two or three at a time. Now, I'm going to buy this property and use it as a way to save up oh, phone call. Hello, club baby. I thought I called to say how much I love you and how well endowed you are. Nah, Catalina, it's Carl. I think you got the wrong number. Oh, Carl. Uh, so sorry. It is such an easy mistake to make, especially when I am so light-headed with love and lust. Yeah, well, I... Uh, no time. Uh, bye. Ah, uh, that crazy Catalina. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, reminding you to don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Clock, clock, how can I serve you? Don't choke on the bone fragments.